another big step for WeWork in the post-Adam Newman era, the co-working company agreeing to go public through a SPAC merger. It's going to be combining with Boax Acquisition Corporation in a $9 billion deal that includes debt. Joining us right now first on Squawk Box is WeWork CEO Sandeep Mathrani, also Bo Capital founder and managing director Vivek Ranadive. And gentlemen, want to join, welcome both of you uh, today, and thank you for being with us. Um, so many questions about this, and there's been so much speculation about what would happen, some leaks that came earlier this week in the press. But, Sandeep, let me ask you first, um, why now for a SPAC merger and an IPO planning on this, and why BOEX? Thanks for having me on, on uh, Becky. Um, you know, sometimes you don't pick the path, the path picks you. Uh, and uh, in December, we were approached uh, by, by BOEX and other SPACs. Uh, we looked at our, our plan. Uh, we'd seen what we'd accomplished in 2020, uh, and we'd seen a path to profitability. And we thought it was a good time to raise additional liquidity, to de-risk the balance sheet, uh, and to make sure uh, that we had a path to profitability. So sometimes, you know, the path, uh, the path picks you, you don't pick the path. Um, Vivek, let's let's talk about the opportunity you see here. Why why do you think that this is uh, something that you can add value to? Uh, thanks for having me as well, Becky. Uh, I launched this pack a few uh, months ago, and uh, it was really to fuel the next generation of rocket ships. Uh, we wanted to fuel growth companies, uh, and what we saw in Boax was a company. Uh, what we saw in WeWork uh, was a company that had billions in recurring revenue. Uh, it could be a rule of 50 company in the future. Uh, it's leaning into a gigantic uh, space, uh, which is it's the market leader in flex space. Uh, it's going to be trillions of dollars in terms of its uh, uh, total available market. WeWork is the leader in the space. It has a, a incredible moat built around the business. Uh, and it's got a, a world-class CEO, a, a superstar like Sandeep. Uh, and if you think about it, uh, COVID was actually a tailwind uh, for FlexSpace. Uh, so if Zoom was the opportunity stock uh, for the COVID era, uh, we believe that WeWork is going to be the opportunity stock for the recovery. Sandeep, there, there was some bad press earlier this week concerning WeWork and your finances. There were some slides that I think were leaked from the presentation you must have been showing to some of these institutional investors who picked up. And there were things written in the papers that said that you lost, what was it, $3.2 billion last year. And that came even after you slashed CapEx by 98%. They said your occupancy fell to 47%. Are those numbers accurate? Yeah, so let me explain them to you, right? So when people talk about numbers, they talk about, you know, the $3.2 billion and what they should really be focused on. Off the $3.2 billion, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be very blunt and break it down, you know, 900 a million dollars was what they call building impairments, which is we you know, we gave back over a hundred locations. And for accounting purposes, you take an impairment charge, which is a non-cash charge. Uh, you got seven hundred million dollars of depreciation and amortization. Uh, you got two hundred million dollars of restructuring costs. We we you know we 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 took off one point two billion dollars of SGNA from the company. And that has the restructuring charge associated with it. So if you actually look at the business itself and look at the EBITDA of the business, actually the loss was $1.8 billion. And in the previous year, in, in 2019, it was $3.9 billion. So you really have to compare numbers uh, by looking at what, what's the cash uh, you know, EBITDA loss. It was actually $1.8 billion. Um, so so uh, you know, I just want to clear, you know, clear the air uh, because you can be selective in how you look at your numbers. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.